Hello, I'm Lisa Vanderpump and welcome to my closet. As you might have seen on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, I've recently moved house and I really had a chance with this closet to design it myself. I love pink. Most of my closet is kind of dictated by pink. Like this shirt, you might have seen because I wear it in my confessionals when I'm kind of talking about the other girls. I have these shirts made, I design them myself and they have my initials on the cuff or they have my name. Even this to me, this green, just kind of jumps out in this closet because it's like, oh my God, it's not pink. We have to have a huge wardrobe, to be honest, working on the show. So pretty much every day I do have to dress. This is a new designer who I really love called Che Godfrey. The color to me is just absolutely beautiful. This is Christine Mikowski. I'm a huge fan of her dresses. I've got many of those. They have the beautiful beaded and jewels around the midsection. This dress I love for Christmas. I think it's really beautiful. It's just so kind of sumptuous. Again, it's Christine Mikowski, um, but just the red, deep red velvets with the with the jewels. Next, shoes. I love, love, love shoes. Shoes and bags. I'm a huge uh, fan of Giuseppe Zanotti and Le Boutin, which is made for me, actually. I even have a signed pair, two pinky. Love Christian Le Boutin. I think you might even remember me saying flats are like a disease once. Handbags I love. I have the Birkin bags, but to be honest, I don't really use them anymore. Occasionally, I kind of pull one out. I mean, I really am a typical girl. I love being a girl. I love dressing up. I love jewelry. I'm an avid collector of it, and I'm always looking for the latest necklace. Anyway, let me show you to my bathroom. I've made the dressing room and bathroom very open plan. So it's kind of like a little shop, really. It's really good because you can put all the junk in there and then close it off. So, as you can see, I've been really fortunate enough to be able to design my bedroom and, and dressing room with this wonderful bathroom. I really do feel blessed. Anyway, Jig, did you like sharing your closet with everybody? Are you hungry? I think it's time for his lunch. Thank you so much for visiting my closet and Jiggies, and we will see you soon. I don't ever take anybody in my closet. It's very small, it's not big and fancy, so come, let me show you. Now, Lisa Vanderpump's closet, this ain't. <laughs> but if I had a bigger closet, here's the problem. I would shop so much more. So in a way, this is kind of, that keeps me, it keeps me grounded. It keeps me from going bazonko crazy because truly, if I could shop with impunity, I would. I try to go through it periodically, um, maybe every two, three months, six months, Really, every time I get my period, I have to like clean the closet out, I swear to God, but it's true. So this is really fabulous. This is one of the original Hervé Leger dresses before Hervé Leger sold the company. It's so it's like the original bandage dress. I hosted the Soap Opera Digest Awards and I wore this when I hosted and I won a Soap Opera Digest Award. So this is really special. This is probably worth, I mean, this is the original label, at least 15 grand. These are some great shoes. I love these shoes. I bought these at a charity event. I think these are very gorgeous little Gucci shoes and 100% of it went to, um, I think it was Alzheimer's. Okay, I got these from the Christian Louboutin sample sale, uh, which, come on now, are you kidding me? Look at that. That was like an orgasm in the making. <sighs> Where shall we begin? Some of my favorite things, well, I wouldn't necessarily say favorite, but things that really strike a memory. This is from the Dinner Party from Hell at Camille's with Alison Dubois. You know what? You are not interesting to me at all. Well, you're so not you to me continue. either. Every time I look at this top, I see Alison Dubois. And that cigarette. <laughs> and that night was such a disaster. Something I would never wear again, ever, ever, is this. This was from the season finale of season one, and it was the scene with my sister in the back of the limo. That is a very bad memory for me. This is something I wore on season one. This, season three. This I wore to Pandora's engagement party. 
a lot of my clothes are like disposable. I buy them, I wear them once, and then I never see them again because my girls steal them and they don't return them and they're lost into the big black hole. Another bad memory, this is the top I was wearing when Camille and I had our infamous fight when I said, you're such a fucking liar, Camille. And I haven't worn it again. Oh my God, I absolutely love handbags. No secret there. This is my newest one I just got that I love because it's the black leather with the sequins. This is an amazing combination. This bag is something else. This is pretty much a weapon. I love how you hold it like this, the clutch. And if somebody gets smart, you just watch it. This actually was my mom's. This is a vintage Chanel handbag. I love it, knowing that it was my mom's and it's so old, I just absolutely cherish this bag. This bag is sentimental to me because my husband and I were shopping and he told the girls to keep me busy and then he came back and he handed that to me. This ended up being my favorite handbag and it's something I'll wear forever and ever and ever and I just love that he chose that on his own. I really love shoes. Shoes are important, especially to somebody who's as small as I am. I am five foot two and three quarters. So I really like to wear high, high heels. I just got these and I'm really excited. I won't wear stilettos just running around, but I will wear a wedge. These are my running around shoes. <laughs> you know what? You, they make me so much taller. And to me, taller means thinner. This shoe is the ultimate red carpet shoe. Look at this shoe. It's gorgeous and it is very dangerous. I think that this could come in handy at the reunion with this crowd of women. What do you think? Swift little kick. So that concludes the tour of my closet. Welcome, bravotv.com to my closet. This is where I work. This is where I enjoy my free time and my quiet time, believe it or not and surrounded by nothing more than what I love, my shoes. This one, I think all my fans know about. This was from the final episode of season one. These Take shoes these. are amazing, so and pretty. They look like them. Dorothy yeah. shoes. They do, oh, right? They're gorgeous, yeah. aren't they? This is kind of what started my shoe career. I love these, being a busy mom, and I wanted something with a great heel but easy access to get in and out of. So I love this shoe. It's one of my favorites. But one of my other favorites is, believe it or not, I know, I know I'm known for my high heels, but these flats are amazing. I like to call this the new idea of a toe ring because you have beautiful embellishments and of course you have my logo on the back. And I love this because it's got nothing more than what I love but diamonds. I have a few of my styles here. I have my pumps, which I absolutely love. I love the uh, toe on this. It's an almond-shaped toe. It's not too pointy, it's not too round, and it's a gorgeous silhouette of the shoe. A great heel, it's not too chunky, not too spiky, perfect for work and business. And part of my holiday collection is this strappy red shoe. It's gorgeous. Uh, one thing that my fans have always asked for was an affordable uh, price point, so I have given them affordable luxury. Tell me that's not gorgeous. And it also comes in turquoise and black. I have so many styles in my shoe closet, from flats to walking boots to a, a riding boot to, of course, what I'm known for, my high heels. I want to thank all my fans for joining me today in one of my favorite rooms in the house, my shoe closet.